Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again on a mighty streak. We've currently basically been through everyone that I feel comfortable playing uh, on the streak on the tainted side. So I guess we're doing another round, which is kind of strange to think. We've got Mega Satan to do as Isaac. We've also got Greedy, but we'll go for a Mega Satan run as Isaac. Why not? Uh, see what we can get done. Although I've realized that like... Mega Satan for Isaac doesn't particularly unlock a lot. Like, let's just give it a go anyways. I'm, I'm enjoying running through the characters. And by the way, once we can fully complete completion marks of characters, okay, um, I'm not going to just stop playing them completely because I, there's some characters that I still want to play. Um, we're just going to see what happens. Like, I basically, I don't want to get to the point with a series where we're only playing a handful of characters because it's all we have left for Dead God. I know that we're nowhere near that point yet, uh, but I still wanted to sort of bring it up anyways. I'm so surprised I didn't take damage there. That was kind of crazy. Either way, we've got a first item room here and the D6 in our hand. Um, as for the question of the day, ooh, uh, after each use has a 5% chance um, to be solved for removing from the player and be replaced with the item Magic Cube. So basically, this is a better D6, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, it takes a little while to, to solve, but I think it's better than the D6 because I'm pretty sure it's the D6, like what the magic cube is, is it's the D6 with a four room charge and um, it can reroll into other item pools. I think it's better in every way, but it's going to take us a little bit to get there. But I think on the 20th use of it, it automatically solves. I did also see there was Molten Slag uh, in the... In the what's it called machine, uh, crane game machine, so I'd very much like to grab that and I'd be willing to buy my donation machine in order to potentially get it. Although it is only a 25% chance per player that I will get it, so we'll see. Either way, what is your, um, what is your, like, what is your, your the thing that you want to d6? That's the question of the day, what's the thing you want to d6? I'd be intrigued to know. If we get a red heart here, ooh, we'll definitely bomb that. Ooh, very nice. I love the fact that this is like a big old tears up. It's like an absolutely huge tears up. I very much like that. One of the better items you can get. I think it's actually better than Small Rock in my opinion. Hey, we solved it already. No way. That's so lucky. Okay, so yeah, now we have a four room charge. I think it actually will tell us. Magic Cube, rerolls item pedestals, rerolls items can be drawn from any pool. Yeah, so we're going to go reroll the D6 right now. Into Cracker Jacks. Why not? 10% uh, chance for Room Claude to be a pill. Chance of bonus pills. Yeah, it was why not just take safety cap? Why not? But yeah, we've we got very lucky there. We solved it in we in three uses, so 15% chance. And now we've got a D6 that is is better. I, I wouldn't say it's strictly better because obviously rerolling an angel deal is no longer going to give you a different angel deal. But in general, over the course of a run, it will be better. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Either way, we have some interesting stuff here. I am going to bomb this machine here um, and be a bastard man to my donation machine, as always. Glizzy, you, you do tempt me, but the Moltenist of Slagaths, which is still not actually this item's name. I can't remember what it's called. It's called something slag. I think it's Crackling Slag. Um, I just keep calling it Molten Slag. Either way, if, if I can't get this in three rolls, I'm going to cry at least a little bit. Don't do it to me, game. Don't do it to me. <laughs> no, not only did I bomb my Dinesh machine, it was a fucking waste. How dare you, game? How dare you? Ah, uh, you know, pageant boy giving us a dime and stuff this time around on the boss. You know it to be true, game. You know it to be true. Ugh, that's, that hurts a little bit, that does. Could have got glizzy, but I gambled. I gambled and it did not pay off. We got you. Good old plum boy. We're not even going to get a charge for this. I might actually go to my cash room, you know, because I could get a, a room with combat and get a charge and reroll whatever what this boss gives me. But then again, I might not need to. There is some really goddamn good boss items in mods and stuff like that. So could even just get something like the pentagram. We shall see. We shall see. I'm going to try and re-roll that. Let's, let's at least see if we can get a charge. I'm so disappointed. We could try and find secret room, but I'm honestly so unsure where it is. I think it's here. 
But it's like I've only got one bomb. It feels a little... Eh, to use it there. Right, anyways, let's go in here and see if we can get a charge. We did indeed get a charge, and we also got an item. Now, Little Lamb has caused us un untold torment in the, in the past, but it is unlimited bombs. What does this do? After 10 seconds of being in a non-special room, the doors will open. You deal 7 times your damage to monsters. That damage... Um, that damaged... You deal 7 times damage to monsters that damage you. May not work consistently with projectile damage. So basically, we can leave doors earlier. I really want the little lamb. I'm going to take the little lamb. I really want the little lamb. I could... I, I was going to say I could re-roll that, but there's literally no point. Right, let's let's try and find secret room. Little lamb's not as bad when you um when you don't have a charge up based shot already, but like unlimited bombs, it's just too good to pass up. It's simply too good. Was I right? I was right. Okay, I've got five cent already. Don't pick that thing up again. I will get this molten crackling slag thing. It might take me a year and a day, but I will get it. <laughs> How dare you, Kim? How absolutely dare you? 25% chance, my ass. I feel so betrayed. Okay, we're up to three. Up to four. Come on, one more, one more. Yeah, we're up to six. Okay. The game's giving us another chance. I, I, I feel like I know what's going to happen here. Do, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure we all know what's going to happen here, but... I can't give the game the satisfaction. I've got to try. <laughs> you fucker. You absolute fucker. Also, what's happening with this? It's like sitting outside of the room. Right, now we just need the quarter. <laughs> I will pay my entire life savings to get this item. I will do it. I will give everything that I have and everything that I've ever known so that I can taste the sweet nectar of this item. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, so you're saying there's a chance. Oh my goodness. We can't believe it, people. We can't believe it. Two more chances. If this game doesn't give me this item after putting in God knows how much money. Yes! We got it. We got it. I will put in another five here just to see if I get this. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. Now I can use this to generate a new trinket. Chance to give... Oh, yeah. Hell yes. Okay. Awesome trinket. And then we can re-roll it and get Harlequin Baby. There you go, baby. There you go. Although Harlequin Baby's not great because it puts our lamb boy further back in the queue. Either way, I feel like we spent an appropriate amount of time this floor and actually got hella rewarded for it. We got a way better trinket. We got little lammy. We got, um... Oh, we didn't, we didn't even re-roll this, did we? My bad. Um... Nah, I can't re-roll it. Just, I'll just take it. Right. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. I spent a lot of money on this item. What, like, 25 cent I think I spent on it? Which is crazy, but... Overall, it was all worth it. It's a, it's a quality 4 item, and rightfully so. It's a really fun item, so... Get ourselves the world. It's pretty nice, actually. Ooh. Allows us to get in here easily. I hate having little Lammy back in the queue too far. I mean, there's pennies. Double black heart, baby. That angel deal is as good as mine. Remember, we are going Mega Satan here, so we have to go angel. The random Isle of Belial shots coming in. Oh, baby. This is... This is the life. This is beautiful. Right, I don't even need to use Little Lammy outside 
of um, blowing stuff up, I don't think. Good. Oh, dude, stop spawning spiders. We got this. Isaac's heart. I'm sorry, but there is no way. Um, it's not very good. But it is... We are quite early, so... It's not terrible. I'm going to hold off on picking that up at the moment. I'm going to hold off on that one for now. Just to see if I get something better from our uh, our, our boss if we reroll there. A soul heart. Booyah, baby. This is going very, very well. Going very, very well indeed. Oh, dude. The money, it comes rolling in, baby. It comes rolling in. Oh, that was such a good pull on that as well. Hell yes, baby. Hell yes. Right. Quickly check what's going on in here. Right. I'm probably more likely to reroll in there. Oh, look at that fire. Just annihilate. Good, good. It's not great, but I think I take this. I take this. And then I re-roll the shop and see what we get. So many golden hearts. I am the golden child. Right, second secret room is likely to be here. If only he could accurately hit where I wanted him to. Yeah. That's a mega chest. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. Unfortunately, those are both very bad. <laughs> the HP is not terrible, I guess. 14 cent for a HP up. I mean... What's this? Skip card? I'll pay 13 cent for that. Why not? Okay. Down we go. So this, this this active hasn't really given us anything amazing yet, but it's the potential. It's the potential that's there. Quickly reveal secret room, so I'm pretty sure it was there. Good, good. Got a chest there. Really, really hard with this little dude to actually hit what you want to hit. Trying to hit the... Goddamn man, but look at that. He's, he's so long range. There we go. We got him. We got him. In the end, we got him. Right. Let's keep this trainer moving because things are things are going well. They're progressing correctly, I'd say. We're firing off more than enough fires. We got our angel chance going. Where's, where's the Sky Boy gone? There he is. Motherfucking Sky Boy. And in here we've got a bit of nothing. And in here we've got three chests that require us to hurt ourselves. I am happy that I did that. I was hoping for an item that I could then re-roll, but sadly, didn't get so lucky. There you go, that's what I was hoping for. Bomb his head right off. That didn't bomb your head off, though. What the hell? There you go. Has to be a direct hit, I think. Right, there you go. Um, that's That sick maggot trinket is really... I don't know, it's... I think it's actually amazing. I'm going to take it. <laughs> that, that other trinket that gives us the... Um, the Belial Eye shots is really good, but this sick maggot thing is is kind of insane. Um, oh, that was a very bad hit on my behalf there. Need to be careful because I've not got a ton of HP left. Yeah, that was a little lamb getting me hit again there. Again, I need to not use him during combat. He's just too dangerous. He gets me hit far too much. Sadly, at the minute, we're wasting all of our, char our potential charges because we're going to rooms... Before um, 
go into like the item room and stuff. It's always annoying when that happens. Yeah, we're good. Definitely re-rolling that. Sadly, it's another active, so we'll be skipping out on that bad boy. Good. Oh, I just... He started flying the goddamn moment I was ready for him. Good, good. See, that's the that's the situation where you know you're safe to use the lamb. Double soul heart there makes me feel a hell of a lot better about the mistakes I've made thus far. Yeah, careful, careful, careful. Check this out. Beautiful, the fire does most of our work there. We did get the angel deal here, which is surprising. Magic 8-ball. We'll leave for now. Oh, Celtic Cross. We're not... Sadly, in terms of luck-wise, things are not going well for us items. Like, we, our first floor was pretty stellar, but since then, things haven't been too hot. I will take that, though. There's just no point re-rolling it when it's going to get re-rolled to something that's not an angel item. That's where the D6 is definitely better. I could use the skip card here, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get the key piece if I did. We did get the room with two angels, which makes our life a lot easier. Because we can get both angel pieces right here and now. Yeah. Just kill him with fire. Destroy him. Luckily, the fire does a good amount of damage, so we're killing him pretty goddamn quick. Yeah. We've got a full key piece already. That's good to go. Magic 8 ball, I'm going to leave for now, because at least that's something we can take, whereas this other one's an active that we cannot take. Barra up. Gain a soul heart every floor. That's pretty good stuff. Right. Can I use this chest without taking away my eternal heart? Let's find out. I can. Cool. I'll be using you for a little bit then. Uh, boom, boom. Didn't really get much out of that, I'll be honest. Shame, really. Right, we're now looking for the shop. Shop is pretty valuable for us as well. I'm hoping for a battery from the shop, to be honest. That room confused me deeply there. My bad. Soul Converter. Don't think that does much for us, to be honest. There's a, what the hell, there's a greed donation machine in here. Excuse me? Um, right, oh god, this room is so confusing. Right, I guess we just take Magic Hitball then. It's, it's, yeah, it's been a little bit of a shame, really, overall. In terms of what we've gained out of our re-rolling and such. We've, uh, we've not really gotten a single good item out of re-rolling things as of yet, which is the way that chaos goes, I suppose, but it's still a little annoying. Don't even know what hit me then. Hey, lamb. Why aren't you doing your job? Moon. Okay, this is just all the teleport cards. So we'll just... I was just about to say we'll just use the moon. What the fuck does that do for us? Use the hermit. Ah, oh, really? This is annoying. Especially when I get hit twice. In the process. Bugger you, fella. Bugger you. Was there a stars one in there as well? Oh god, the stonies are uh, being a little annoying. There was a key back there that we need. There's a key there that we need, okay. It's keys galore here. Actually, this is not all a bad run, so... It's definitely not an issue that we're not getting, like, the perfect items, but it's just, like, a little bit of, like, I feel like for some reason if we'd have stayed with the D6, we'd have been better off. Right. I'm hoping it'll pay dividends eventually. Where do you think you're going, Sonny Jim?
Dude, get back over here. Another key. Okay, keys are looking good right now. Was there a stars in here? Emperor, fool, moon, stars. Yes. E. coli. Ooh, siren's call. Yes, please. Only headless baby. We did get conjoined out of it, so not all bad. Although, I was just about to say conjoined isn't actually that good for us, but I think actually with um, with the fires, conjoined is pretty goddamn good for us. I think we're going to end up dealing a lot more damage because we're firing more fires out. Lovely. We're just tanking through to the boss now. But yeah. And we definitely need a fire rate increase now that we got a fire rate down from Conjoin, because early game that can kind of suck a little bit. The damage down I just don't really care, care about though, because our fires are doing most of our damage right now. I don't know if they're based off our damage, but either way, we're still doing good damage, so that's all I know. So many extra keys here as well, love that. It does seem that our fires do follow the trajectory of the shot they come from, though. So you can definitely tell we're firing out extras. But they're not always going to hit extra. Did hurt myself there. A little bit stupid. We are golden, though. We got a devil deal. That's so annoying. Although, actually, we can go devil deal now if we want to. So there's our tears up to regain some of the lost tears. We can go devil deal now. And devil deal, I shall go. Uh, because... Ocular Rift is good. I'll re-roll this just in case. Didn't get anything good. Okay, pretty reasonably happy with how that went. Uh, now we've got our angel pieces. It don't matter if we go devil deal. I, I didn't really think about that. One second. Righty ho, let's continue on. So yeah, Oc Ocular Rift. Um, some good stuff there. I like that. One of, one of the items that I like quite a lot from the Devil Deal pool. Extra speed there is lovely. You can see that from this trinket, we're, we're gaining a nice suite of rotten hearts here. That'll uh, help us quite a bit. I did get hit there. Hello, hello, hello. So this one we'll put here. I love how the context of that room has changed so drastically with the uh, change to this. Yara, I think we'll just take. And this will pop here now. And Yara will just bring along with us. I was going to bring the other thingy with us. Uh, here was for the next floor, but now that we've got Yara, like, why bother? You see how we got a fire that was like black then? Uh, that was like an ocular rift fire. Pretty cool. If I had more keys, I'd play that guy than Yera all the chests he gives me, but sadly we do not. But yeah, every now and again we fire out a black oculus rift fire, which is pretty cool. So many keys. Oh my god, my little shithead boy. Why you do this to me? I think I've been hit by you more than anything else. It's it's the risk I take li taking little lamb. I, I do it every single time. I'm like, oh, it's going to hit me loads. Let's not take it. And I take it anyways. And I'm always like, fuck's sake, why did I take it? But the unlimited bombs thing does, does help quite a lot. Right, hopefully there's a shop this floor we can actually utilize. Mini Isaacs for days, baby. Tinted rock there as well. I didn't see that. Oh, dude, those red bricks don't disable at the end of the room. I thought they did. My bad. Rotten heart there. Thank you. And a big old dead end. Sadly, annoying because, as I said before, it's a, just a bunch of charges, potential charges wasted. Could have been using those to constantly re-roll stuff, but I guess not. Um, don't particularly like this room, so I'm just going to... I was going to bomb my way through it, but then I broke it with lamb. Oh, 
lord. We're all good. Shh. This, this needs to be illegal. I absolutely hate how you can get two fucking greed fights in a row. Let me spend my 61 cent. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, this is worth re-rolling, I think, so. <sighs> the trade of the century, baby. Money I don't need for damage I desperately do need. Literally doubling my damage there. Still haven't seen that item room, though. That's all the way back. Annoyingly, but we'll make our way regardless. What's going on in the secret room? What's the icon for? Or is it a key beggar? Okay. Key beggar icon. I see, I see. And Swindler, oh Swindler, you are you are an amazing little fella. I will take you in a heartbeat, Swindler. You'll actually give me stuff to spend my money on now. In fact, can you savage this guy's corpse if I blow him up for you? Well, Swindler, there you go. You can take his little uh, penny there. Nice. And yeah, he'll poo out random shop items for us to buy. That can also then be re-rolled. He does need intake of money in order to work, so we just gotta wait until we get money and not pick it up. Anyways, it's boss time. Got two mega fatties. Really shouldn't be that hard for us to do at all. I mean, this guy's getting memed by the fires. We're hitting them both a lot. <laughs> oh, look at it all falling one straight line into the ocular rift. That's cool. And there you go. Both dead. Nice and speedy. We get Pesci here, which I'm going to reroll. Uh, sharp plug's actually kind of good. It's not insane, but to be able to uh, use our active on demand if we get a really bad reroll is kind of interesting. We've also got to the point now we've got a lot of rotten hearts going on from our uh, from our trinket. So some rooms will be dying straight away. We've got a spin down dice here. I'll take that for now. I mean, I know the Yera's valuable, but spin down's also pretty goddamn good. We're on full rotten hearts now, baby. Full rotten hearts. So this guy gave us dead tooth, which can change into dog tooth. I think this is one of the ones that we're just going to wait to re-roll. I don't want to spin down it into dog tooth, really. Right, quickly go back. Boop, 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 boop. Um, yeah, that seems decent. We'll take it. We'll hold on to the spin down for now. Use that when the time is right. Come on, Swindler boy. Give me more to work with here. I need to just give him like a fuckload of coins at some point. I'm hoping a room like that shows up for us at one point. I don't need the money right now. I'd rather have him pay me out with stuff. Yeah, he's a cool item, though. I really like him. Ooh, he gave me number two. How much is that costing me? 13 cent for number two. Yes, please. And number two actually has a charge bar now. Look at that, baby. We know when the number two is going to pop. It's like the best thing ever. Number two charge bars was things I didn't know I needed in my life. Keys. There's a black heart in here apparently as well. Damn. Got kind of lucky there, I guess. And the tower as well. I don't think the tower's so lucky. Right, we've not seen item room or shop this floor. Got a good bit to see. There's that shop. Ah, that was kind of a bound to get hit sort of situation there. Oh well. Um. 
Pandora's box, that would be just 20 cent, which isn't obviously super valuable for us. We'll take the uh, golden thing for now. Don't know what that spins down into. Um, I'll definitely take Dark Mind. And then, what does this spin down into? Another book. Okay. Strange Apple. What does that spin down into? Not great. I see, I could keep rolling here and try to go for something really good. Strange Apple's pretty good, right? Hmm. I'm gonna keep rolling. Freezer, baby. No, thank you. Flight plus spectral, or re-roll it down into flight plus spectral. Um, I think that's good enough to take at this point. I'm actually pretty happy with how this golden pill's gone so far. I'm gonna drop it now before I uh, I take it too far. Right. Yeah, Flight Prospector is pretty nice. We got Dark Matter there as well, which I quite like, obviously. Here we get Dark Fires now as well. Cool. It's not as visually distracting with the Dark Fires as well, actually. C section, quickly. <laughs> I saw it was about to re roll it, and I was like, give me that fucking C section, don't you dare. Okay. Which is probably not a sentence you hear very often. Give me that C-section, don't you dare. Anyway. I got the item C-section, not an actual C-section. But this is fucking good. I, yeah, I, I was really panicking there that I wasn't going to be able to get that. One second. Right, let's continue on. But yeah, this is looking like a, a pretty goddamn good run. I'm going to let this guy take all of his stuff. Because he can take stuff that you can't reach. And then he'll hopefully soon pay out with some stuff. But yeah. Now this is, uh, this run's kind of insane. And it was already getting insane, but it's it's more so now. I should let you take all these pennies, really. Um, do I want to play the Astral Boy? Maybe. I'll just get on with the fight for now. Obviously we're a bit past boss rush, but I don't need boss rush at all, so it's fine. Don't care about getting hit because we gain a soul heart at the end of every floor. Lovely. And we are going Polaroid, I guess. And away we go. Okay. Yeah, this is this is pretty much a, a, a run one at this point. Obviously, C-section is an insanely good item. Um, I'm pretty sure it has Spectral anyway, so we only really got flight out of that last item there. But we've got it now. We'll see what we can do. I'm hoping my Swindler boy pays out with some stuff at some point. There we go, he paid out with something. Ah, oh, it's literally just a heart. Thanks, Swindler. It's what I always wanted. Hoping for a little more than a heart for sale. It, it, to be fair, it, to be fair, it depends with him. Sometimes he can give you some really good stuff, sometimes it's like that where it's trash. He's kind of like Dark Bum, really, where he's got a decent chance of giving you what you want, but he can also give some trash as well. Which is fine, I mean, it's, another, it's a pretty powerful item anyways. I feel having some variance in how powerful it can be is probably a good thing. Got a spider egg there, we'll take that. Not needed spin down yet, holding on to it. I probably should have taken Yera back, but... I don't know, spin down, just, I feel like it can be more fun. Right, I don't really know where I'm going at the minute, I'm just trying to head in the direction of the boss. I think we're going the right way. Yeah, we are good. I thought we were. But yeah, I'm interested to see what Mum's heart's like after this new update. Hot damn. All good there. Ow. Hurt myself on that fire. Stapler. Quite nice. Why coat hanger? Quite nice. Oh, I can't even afford it. Bugger. Furton. Mmm. I kind of have to take this to see what happens. Now, this may be... This may have ruined our run, but I'm curious. 
I'm curious to find out. It This seems bad. It seems like it's completely ruined C-section. But I'm, I'm curious to see if it has or not. Because I, be, I think it would be weird with an item like this if they didn't make it synergize. Because you can see they like sort of speed up and then slow down. It does still seem to work. They kind of like speed past and then slow down and come back. You see what I mean? Look, it's like little ones that are coming back around. It seems overall not quite as good, I've got to say, as regular old C-section. Because it's not as many on screen at once. But it still seems to like be hitting and doing that good damage. And like still doing the herming. Like if we don't fire now, will this... Yeah, you can see like, look, this is a C-section baby. There you see it. It's funny. Nice, easy kill. Onto this old attack again. Oh yeah, that's way shorter than before. That's nice. Like two or three seconds shorter. Okay, and we're going upright. Yeah, we are. Cool. So yeah, I think the overall Photon has made this a little worse. But it's not, it's not completely counteracted it. I think it's just because the shot speed is like high on it. Obviously, it's zooming past them and herming back in. So it takes a it takes like a little bit for it to start herming back in. But once it does, it does good work. I don't know why I just kind of stood there and accepted that my fate. Okay. The grimaces are hitting me a lot more than they should be. Beautiful. Ooh, Eternal Heart in there as well. Why not? Eternal Heart right there as well. I guess that's a, a full heart said and done. That's another Rotten Heart added. Ow. Ow. Yeah, you need to die, fella. We got him eventually. I will bomb both of these as well, just in case. Heck. Lost two hearts there, wasn't great. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird one, this. I, I wish it synergized a little better. I would have expected it to synergize better. But I'm not... I, can, I kind of understand that it does. Ba basically, the only reason I expect it to synergize better is because Photon has some specifically, like, coded synergies with a lot of, like, big items. Like, I'm pretty sure it has one with Mom's Knife and Brimstone and stuff like that and Technology. Like, it has specifically coded synergies for those. So I kind of would have expected it to have one for, for um, C-Section. And it doesn't seem to. But I had to try it. Because, like I said, it does still work. It's just... the Because the the shot has to, like, loop back around, it doesn't exist for as long. Because by the time it's looped back around, it's used a lot of its lifespan. So it doesn't have as much time to actually deal good damage. But it is still getting in there and doing some good damage here and there. And it's a little harder to notice as well, because the shots are just a lot smaller. That's making it a little bit... A little bit less easy to read, sort of, how much it's doing. But things, obviously, we're still killing runes in a pretty decent amount of time. It's runes like this that you can tell, though. Like, these guys should be dead way before this. You sold me a soul heart. Now that, that I can get behind. Also, we've got all these flies as well, which are augmenting our damage by quite a bit by just, like, annihilating everything when we walk in rooms. I quite like that. Okay. We'll drug things, making us go crazy. Right. The boss is going to be our real sort of decider here.
Yeah, it's so much weaker. Ow. Tis a shame. Tis a shame. Oh, dude, what hit me then? Not my little lamb buddy that got me there. I think it was. Yeah, you can see what I mean by, like, we'd, we'd have this this whole phase would be over and done with by now with regular C-section, wouldn't it? I'm meant to be doing Mega Satan as well here, so... Not ideal. Not ideal. Especially the amount we just got hit. Well, those are kind of crap. Also, did you just re-roll that for me? What the hell? I'm going to keep doing rooms until I can re-roll these into something much, much better than this. And hopefully get some more HP as well, yes. Two charges, good, good, I gotta say, because that was a shit, like, grouping of items, uh, followed by an even shitter grouping of items, honestly. Docular Rifts help a lot as well, I think, in grouping up our shots. There you go, back. The Pact will take... Probably worth it. Extra damage to bosses with bombs. Oh, with butt bombs, it's hella worth it, yeah. Didn't even think about that. Probably should have actually taken ghost bombs as well, you know. Didn't even think about that synergy. Fires. I love the fires. Right, you do your little stupid thing. Oh ho ho, you got butt bombed there, boy. Okay, nice and easy. Probably not going to get too many chests from room rewards here, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm trying to try keep re-rolling these bad boys into something better. Dude items you're giving me are just awful right now. Ow, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? There's apparently an item in this room somewhere. Ooh, uh, all stats up for every axe of curse. Now this is something that I think we can take advantage of here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, dude, I just accidentally uh, used the thingy. Uh, my bad. Why am I automatically firing? Oh, there's a sprinkler doing it. Okay. Um, Right, I'm going to come back for the cursed flame at some point. Because I think that's going to be pretty good for the fight. Take whatever this is, Stigmata, I'm happy with that. Right. Back we go for another reroll. Come on, please give us something good this time. Oh, we don't know anymore, do we? Knockout drops. Ah, that was actually pretty goddamn good. Okay. I'm happy enough with that. Do you reckon we can get another charge on this? So I feel like it's unlikely, but we should maybe try. Let's see what we can get. 
Might be able to afford that battery back there at some point as well. Bombs. I need money, game. Yeah. need money. Dude, how is this thing not dead? There you go. Dude, what the hell? I swear every room reward is money and now it's like, nope, no money. Ow. Judgment. Really? That judgment? That was... That was cruel. That was cruel game. I don't even know why I'm fighting this guy. Oh, dude, this is taking forever. Thing really ruined my uh, ability to deal good damage. Photon, how dare you? I trusted you. He keeps like diving onto the bombs I'm throwing down with butt bombs. I don't know why. What exactly are you doing, sir? Okay, we got him. Ah, it's like without getting hit again, but we got hit again towards the end there. My bad. We did get a void play there, but... Sadly not what I want. Right. Back we go. We don't need the battery. I do want those bombs. Key. There's a penny. We only need two more pennies. One more penny. Lil Steven, why not? Why isn't this thing dying? Oh, I've got to kill the thing in the middle first, I see. There you go. Friend zone. I think I can take this, can't I? Yeah. Come on. That one penny. There wasn't the more pennies in this room that I missed. Bugger, I used them all. Right, where, where haven't I been? Been this way. Been all of this way. Been this way. Been all of this way. God damn it, I hate not having mapping. I know that I've spawned this on myself by giving myself these curses, but I'm so annoyed. Got rotten heart there. Dude, stop giving me 4 cent batteries. I need the fucking 1 cent to be able to afford him, you dick. God damn it. There's nothing. Okay, I guess we'll just leave it. Whatever. Right, um... Yeah, boss time. We'll see how this goes. We've got 8.99 fire rate. I feel that's pretty good going. The fires are going to do a good job too. Get some eternal bombs on him here and there. I have to kill all the body parts already, all the hands. It does crazy good damage sometimes. Sometimes it feels really weak because of the C-section not working as it should, and other times the C-section does work and it goes crazy. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh, Brimstone. <laughs> I was like, what's, he, what's going on? We've got the um, knockout drops as well, so that's pushing him around quite a bit. You've got to stand back as far as you can if you want the uh, C-section bits to work. 
don't even know what to be focusing on right now. Oh, my little lamb dude is all firing now, so that's not great for us. He's going to be doing his own thing and potentially hurting me in the process. Okay, we got through that all right, though. On to the angels now. Yeah, we're getting through this at a pretty, pretty quick rate, I think. Ooh, brimstones. I didn't even get a chance to see him, but there was brimstones briefly. Oh my lord, the amount of fire. Oh god, the brimstones did get me briefly there. I don't know why, but I was not expecting it. Anyhow, you are pretty much dead, sir. Your hands are dead, at least. There you go, second phase. We are good to go. Right, stand back, get the shots ready to C-section up. I think this is going to be another win under our belt here. And we actually was able to achieve the thing we set out to achieve, because I think at this streak it's going to be harder and harder to do that. I don't even know how to begin to dodge this attack, so this is very much just going to be a stand stand in the place and hope for the best. Uh, there's two of me now? Oh, I got I got a uh, twisted pair on getting hit. Okay, this is nice. This is why um, the Siren's Call is such a goddamn good item. Dude, the amount of damage that bomb just did. I need to be using bombs more often. It's probably getting smacked about. Making it very hard to dodge his shots, honestly. The Siren Call in a long fight is really good. Look at the damage that just did. There you go. Nice easy kill, obviously we won't be doing Delirium. When I mean, we could technically go for Delirium, but... Oh, dude. This is such a big risk, because... Nah, I can't, I can't. There's definitely a chance we could beat Delirium, but I want to keep the streak alive. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.